not watching Best Review TV. What's going on? What's going on? Who do we have on Best Review TV today? You can start rapping. What's, what's going on, bro? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, like, that's the one thing I always stand about you. When you rap, you say it, and you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you always got a little, like, some little, <laughs> like, like sound effects that was always wavy to me. Yeah. Where did those come from, bro? Oh, the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't got no cool story for the. Yeah. I, I, my man's had a baby, and the baby cries, and it sound like. Yeah. Oh, you say it was like a little cat noise? I don't know what it was. <laughs> that was what I heard with my ears, and, right. I, and I kind of just kept that shit. Kept going. Like, but everybody think it's from uh, uh, the Thundercats or some shit. I could, I could see that. I never saw the. Thundercats. You never saw the Thundercats. Never. That's crazy. But everybody think it's from that. <laughs> so you got to be playing around with a kid, like yeah, kinda, yeah. I just, we just kept. I don't even know. You better not tell know. that baby that she was playing with that. He gonna need his redigitals. <laughs> he gonna say yeah. yeah yo, I, when I heard it, I didn't necessarily say All right, I'm about to take this to the studio. Yeah. I was in the booth one day and like niggas just didn't know what to do. And I just was like. <laughs> When my man's got through mixing the song, he kept he moved it in mad different spots. You right. know what I'm saying? Oh. Which I didn't even know we kept that. You right. feel me? But when I got the song back, I kept hearing it all through the verse. And you're like, that's cool. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Okay. That's my new shit. You feel me? And I, that was on. That was uh, that was like my first little song. You know, that mm -hmm. was uh, it was called uh, what the fuck was that shit called? Um. Damn, I don't remember what the name of that shit was. This day, I'm exhausted from a long jog. I usually don't jog. Oh, wait, so Point Proven? Onion Head. Onion Head was your first? I thought Point Proven was your first, like, when you was going to... Point Proven was, see, when I was, like, 17 when I... I was, like, 16 when I recorded Point Proven. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That was mad long ago. But it was just my... It was, like, my introduction as, oh, okay, this is a rapper. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. I had been rapping, but right. I never put out a music video or nothing. So that was my first music video. Okay, okay. But On Your Head was a bigger song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was, but you know, but back then, I don't think I was all the way interested to, like, and tuned in to what was going on. Like, you know, it's pretty relevant, but... Videos always make people click on the video. It was easy to click on Mr. Dope channel. I yeah. they click on this vid person vid rather than go on somebody mixtape and but they project or SoundCloud. I think it was probably back then. Was you? Yeah, 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 SoundCloud. Yeah. 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 So um, talk about life growing up for you. Were you born and raised in Rochester? Yeah, that's a fact. I was born. In, I'm, I'm from Clinton. Uh, Clinton Avenue. Talk about that. Yeah. What's life like over there? I thought life was cool while I, <laughs> while I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was hard at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I thought it was, I don't know, life was regular, man. We just got done, beat niggas up, we went home. But no. <laughs> see, now people see like that, and they're like, the way you talk, now people want to know that, that side of you, basically. Like, yeah. They, like, Oh, yeah, that's gone, man. Yeah. I, 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 I hate that I, you know, I hate right. that I But that's, for, that's, but you had to go through that to learn from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was whack, man. We was just, shout out my boy Sheen, shout out my boy ST, shout out everybody in the Ville, man. Oh, you from you was around the Ville area? Same shit, yeah. I yeah. swear to God, I did not know that's something new, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, that's, that's fire. Right. That's fire. So that's what were you into? Like, were you playing sports? Were you like or into music, skateboarding? Like, where you get your style uh, from? I, I was I was playing football. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when I first was when, around that time. You know what I'm saying? When I was around them boys, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't even know where the skateboarding came from. I think. Uh, Somebody, somebody who like I don't know. Somebody like left a skateboard in, in the yard type shit, and this is when I could barely you leave the yard type shit. You right. know what I'm saying? I was, I was in the yard all day. All I had was the skateboard, so I was just skating in the yard type shit. And uh, uh, yeah, that's where the skateboarding okay. shit come from. But the thing is, that skateboard changed my life. Why you say that? Because you gotta think, man, like. Skateboarding introduced you to different type of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And they was good type. Of, they were some good people. Good, you feel yeah. me? And I would have never met them had they not sat me <laughs> on my skateboard. You know what right. I mean? Right. So where would you go skate? Like, were you were you one of those people that that skateboarders on some regular job? Were you trying tricks or like what was going on? Like, were you trying to be Tony 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 no. Hawk is his name or the skateboarder, right? The yeah. first skateboarder. Yeah, yeah. Tony Hawk. I ain't yeah. said that name in a man long. But nah, man, I, I don't think, I, I wasn't trying to be on no nothing like that. I just was, I don't even know. 
I guess for a minute I was. <laughs> I think for a minute I was. Man, you can't introduce the other skateboarders. I was thinking like y'all trying yeah. to get it serious, especially there that time, like dancing. Yo, see, this is the thing, right? When mm -hmm. I when I started rapping, I knew right away, like this, this is, is it. it. Right. This is it. You know what I'm saying? When I was when I was skateboarding, I loved it. You know, it was cool. It was free. I, you know, I used to commute. You know, on, on my right. way. I wasn't. I didn't have to be no doing no tricks to feel good. Right. But. For a split second, I was like, "Yeah, I'm about to be the best skateboarder." You know what I'm saying? Right. But when you when you ran, I ran into them boys, and I'm like, "Wow, I'm real far from being the best," and it was discouraging. So I didn't. I stopped trying. That's how, <laughs> that's, how that's how it did me. So right, that was that. Okay. So yeah. at what point did you transition over to hip hop? The uh, love for hip hop come over that you even start rapping. Uh, probably like. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. And what what made you like fall in love with hip hop? What did you see? Like somebody just told me yesterday they seen a movie like the like I think it was when he just told me seen the Temptations and seeing how the girls was about. He's like I want to be that. What was your love for hip hop? What that made you become a rapper? Oh word, yeah. That, that's funny. He said Temptations. I feel like the Temptations movie was a big part of why I fell in love with music, not hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as far as hip hop, man. I didn't never listen to no rap for real, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like right. the rap played, you know, like right. I had I had a uh I had the fifty cent C D. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, I yeah. thought that's a like I thought that was one of them albums that I considered top ten because that was like a life changer for a lot of people, bro. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, I, I don't uh see Lil Wayne, you know, I was a big Lil Wayne fan, yeah, I but I, 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 I didn't even know the music. I ain't gonna lie. I, I think I was just a Lil Wayne fan. I, I am a fan, you know, now that I know the music, yeah. too. But, but just the style and everything it, as a yeah, kid. Yeah, it was just, I think I had to because that's what everybody was saying they was a fan of, you right. know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Lil Wayne... You know, this is around Tiger was just coming out, you feel me? And he was pushing Tiger album. You right. know, he telling everybody, yo, go get that Tiger album. I don't know who Tiger is. And uh, my man, I, I used to have the old, the old MP3. Mm -hmm. This any, you know what I'm saying? What the look like. The, the names, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the names come across. My man. <laughs> like it used to be YouTube.com, uh, uh -huh. dad, such and such, such and such. Such. <laughs> MP4, three, MP3. That's MP3. Fact, man. And, uh, God days. My man, we had, you know, it was only one person at the school who really knew how to put the music on there, you yeah. feel me? So we used to all, all go to him with the five, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Put this on there. I, <laughs> I, I wanted the new Tiger. Right. But it must have been some sort of mix-up. I didn't get the Tiger, you feel me? What you got? I got that Hassan Mackey. Hassan Mackey. <laughs> but like I said, I don't know what Tiger song like. is, you feel me? <laughs> so when I'm, listen, I'm listening to that new Hassan Mackey, and I'm thinking, and I'm just like, yo, yo this tiger hard. fire. Yeah, like, yo, this tiger nigga go crazy. Yo, no fun joke, that's gotta be a crazy story as a rapper. Just imagine, like, if the dude that was, that was putting all the music on there, he was a rapper, and yeah. he had y'all thinking y'all down tiger, and he was on his music, and they got all y'all all up in his fan. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a fact, man. I'm bumping at his song, Mackie, man, and. It, I'm, I'm real happy that I didn't get the title, right? Because right? I probably wouldn't be the rapper I am today, right? Yeah, so I'd be a different type of rapper, a whole different sound. But I was just hearing it, and I'm just like, yo, I never heard nothing like this. Cause, <laughs> cause 50 Cent not lyrical, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He more from gangster talk, yeah. And and Lollipop, Lil Wayne wasn't lyrical, you know. Yeah, he, 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 got, he, got he got metaphors. He got he got metaphors, just like type shit, catchy, yeah. more catchy. Like he got bars on bars, but right. I don't think he like really got he not really lyrical to right. me I, like i didn't know nothing about that boom bap sound right you know what i'm saying because at this point i don't I, I didn't know who like i never heard of wu-tang at this point but that's crazy i'm about to say i like listen to your product i feel i get that wu-tang feeling like the vibe because right. it's not just the music like not even the lyrics, just like the way the beats are like all that like i don't mm. even watch the wu-tang um the Sega on Hulu, bro. I, I love it, yeah. Bro, like, just watch, listen to me. It's like, bro, I feel like you would have been a part of Wu-Tang Day because I heard yeah, you yeah. back then. Like, that, that. And I never used to buy Wu-Tang because I'm probably I'm too, I'm too probably a little bit younger than them when it was popping. But watching that Sega, I might niggas I rap would have been dominating in this crew. Like, Yo, no that's a fact. Yo, <laughs> like I said, bro, I didn't know. I, I'm just finding out about a lot of people, bro. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know about Wu-Tang back then, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We respect them, we hear their names, but nobody yeah. really gonna check out the, I thought more rappers should do that, like that documentary stuff, because that makes people more like, okay, I see how you created it, the whole process, it makes you more of a fan of the art, appreciate yeah. the art a little bit more. Yeah, that's a fact, man. But, uh, what the fuck I was talking about? Uh, Hassan Mackey. Yeah, 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 we playing that Hassan. Well, I was playing that Hassan. 
how it how let me tell you this how the rap shit started though. I I never had a verse. You know, I never like back then I didn't have a like a rap verse that right. I wrote. I mean, we just used to be freestyling saying anything. Right. Had a battle in the cafeteria on the spot. Killed the nigga with that Hassan shit, bro. You used his verse? Killed the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Body the nigga, bro. And, uh, my mans who put the music on the joint for me done riding on me. He like, hold on. Oh, he hit you with that. That ain't even your bar. <laughs> yeah, he like, bro, that's a song, Maggie. <laughs> I'm like, bro, watch out, bro. You don't know who this is, bro. Chill. The whole time, I'm thinking he just making stuff up for real because I thought it was Tiger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For some reason, my, 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 the song said track one, track two. Yeah, it don't yeah. have feature names or yeah. nothing. But, uh, yeah, I went home that night. That was my first night writing a verse. They writing a verse. Yeah, I actually half wrote the verse. Like, it was a half, it was just a piece of verse for Mad Long, and then me and my boy, Nigel, finished the finished that verse and then we ended up sharing that whole we shared that one verse oh, you know battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah we shared that one verse for the whole year what's up man? you want to go on camera come on go ahead Bro, you looking crazy <laughs> well, when i get cute don't y'all look on me <laughs> <laughs> no so so from there you wrote your first rap you and your bro shared the verse did, did, like what was you going like battle how was it because were people not getting tired of that same verse that y'all was using every battle or were you diff battling different people well nah i wasn't using them in battles or nothing oh. we just used them you know when people cipher oh. you know what i'm saying <laughs> right, you the legs and stuff like that we jump in spit my one verse <laughs> get up out of there yeah word <laughs> Hey, man, like, yo, he go crazy. Right. Don't ask me to spit again. Let's <laughs> like, Yo, give me a second, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, you actually could to refer to that, right? Because now when we see, like, I think, I seen 38 Space say something like, I'm the type of rapper when I rap and I, like, on platforms, I can use that one rap for that platform. I never use it again. Not, I might give you song lyrics that I got in the cut. That's, that's strictly for that platform. Yeah. How do you feel about rappers going on like platforms rapping like songs they got already? Or do you feel like rappers should rap like freestyle? Cause, well I think when you think of freestyle, you think off the top. But now that you see people, nobody trying to embarrass you, so nobody trying to be a viral moment. Right. And you being a rapper, how you feel about that? I, I, I think it's all, I think it's all personal. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not against it, you know what I mean? I'm not against it because sometimes it's, it's if, if it's, if it's planned, then that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's you not freestyle, yeah. Yeah, you could you could have you could have hit him with some. I mean, like the whole the whole like you mean like if they go to a radio station. Let's say, like, let's say they go to like Funk Flex and like right, that. right. That's and what I'm saying. Freestyle, yeah. See, Funk Flex is playing. You know that they, they know they about to freestyle on Funk Flex. Right. You know what I'm saying? Have your bars ready. You right. feel me? <laughs> but but as as far as if it's just like some on the spot interview and niggas be like, yo, yo, what's been on this beat? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I could I could respect it if they give something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when you in album mode. Right. Like it'd be hard to think of verses on the spot when you in album mode. You thinking of everything that you just been rehearsing every day. You right. know what I mean? Right. So I'm not I'm not I'm not totally against it though. Like I, I have no feeling about oh, it. Oh yeah, no for I feel like you want them people like I see like Oh, that call people, oh, you like that joke is why you call people out on their rap. You, 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 you want them people like I used to see all the time. I was yeah. you would call somebody a whack, and they'd be like, I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist. Like, they go straight to that yeah. point, I'm an artist. So, you being a rapper, I just want to see a take on that, you feel me? But I don't think that's that's another thing, bro. <laughs> Niggas don't be artists. I'm an artist, right? You know, see, look, this is how I look at freestyle, right? Right. So, I don't see freestyle as off the top. Freestyle just means your song is not about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like that I mean like I can freestyle, like you know, and my 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 verse might say, yo, I just put a I just put a brick in the whip. You yo ho not as bad as my bitch. Them two lines didn't connect. Right. Why like what what is this song about? Why did I just put a brick in the whip and then now I'm talking about my girl in the next line? Right. That's freestyle. That's freestyle. You know, I'm not talking about nothing. Now you have to be a real artist. To spit a whole verse and it connect, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, like, I don't like. It, I guess any of my songs, you feel me? <laughs> like, just listening to listen to any of my songs, and you know, my my verses is about the hook, and my hooks is not about nothing. It's going like you. I feel like something. a lot of your songs are stories, basically, but like it's like a if you close your eyes, you're visioning, like whether it's two Word. black kids calling right. out or like 
um, there's something about your brother to say anything like it's like you tell him like you grow I grow with him I see him every day you come back to it like it's like yeah. you it's like a close your eyes you can see the story like everything that like if I was to watch your project I see every song in the visual bro yeah. so uh, the fact like like you could, you could envision it bro some yeah. people that they be talking about Lambo then the next thing you know they talk about I don't, I, mean, I, I don't got no money, I had to go yeah. ride, like, well, how you got a man who got no money? <laughs> right, yo, now, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> and you just told me 10 seconds ago, you got a man, but now you don't got no money, you got to have a ride, my nigga, you feel me? Yeah. Like, you know, so I, I get to say, but I guess everybody the freestyle is different, because I always thought, like, off the top freestyle, you go out there and you, and you just, like, it's like yeah. a cypher, you feel me, you just spit, yeah. you feel me? Yeah, off the top, I mean, usually if you spit, nine times out of ten, if you going off the top, you freestyle, like, right. you know what I'm right. saying? Right, right. Like, I don't think I think you could freestyle without going off the top, but I don't think you could really go off the top without freestyle. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back a little bit because um, I think we could throw some points. Um, you, what was the name of your first song again? Uh, point proven. Point proven, right? No, no, the, 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 no, no. The, that was your first visual you said. The first oh, song. Oh, onion head. Onion head, right? Yeah. Was your name niggas had rap already, or was it Corey? Like you was going by Corey at that time? Yeah, it was Corey. <laughs> yeah, it, it it really wasn't Corey, but you know niggas ain't fuck like sometimes when you know somebody they they, they, they don't they, they, they call you what they want so right you know it, I kind of had to make it Corey because easy easy to find you right. know what I'm saying like all right this is me I had a horrible rap name though so like, I I know what your rap name before was King Perry too. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Yeah, that's so that's the name of the project yeah. now. Yeah. But um, talk about when you make the transition. Um, next, but let's talk about your rap name transitions. You start off as people call you Corey, then it's King Perry. Yeah. Well, not, my first name was Somatic Joe for real. Somatic Joe? Yeah. I don't think I ever seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of <laughs> didn't make the surface. You yeah. know what I'm <laughs> Corey was taking off, and right. I couldn't change it. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was just some real young ignorance. Yeah, I was like 14. Right. And it was it was basically to just. The spelling said "suck my dick hoe," and it was pro it was pronounced. Yeah, <laughs> somatic. Yeah, that's what sound like some shit that Fortiels would do that type of thing. Yeah, you know, little B era, how yeah. you just doing shit. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Or, but uh, so from there it was uh, Corey, and then uh, it was Perry, King Perry. I had I had did a little trip to I had went to Paris. You know, so I was like, Are you at the Paris yet? Yeah? I was the only nigga in the hood. I was about to say, how was that? It was great. It was great. I, uh, yeah, it was great. Well, what's something you learned out there? Like, what's the, like? Cause especially at thirteen, fourteen, like I feel like a lot of kids did not. They're not ready for culture shock, especially like me being African. I seen how a lot of kids didn't want to be African at the time as kids, but now like they're embracing it as they got older. So I'm pretty sure like as kids, especially come from the hood. I don't know if people are really, really ready for culture shock. They're so yeah. used to what they know that that's all they want. Well, I mean, I was only, I was only there for like a week, you know. Yeah, but that's still a culture and, shock, like. Yeah, you. yeah. It, I had, I loved it though. I loved everything about it. Right. It made me want to go see more stuff. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like at at the time, you know, I thought that you know Clinton was the whole world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I didn't think it was more. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And, and uh, I went with my teacher. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. That was, uh, I loved it, man. What's the thing you learned about there? What's something you've seen out there? It's like, bro, this is like, I'm coming back for this, though. Like, if you ever, ever go back. Uh, n oh, uh, just, just being, every, nobody doing one thing out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody got so much going on. Right. And I kind of always felt like, yo, you can either be a businessman or you can be a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It kind of opened me to say like, yo, I could really do whatever I want. And I could do everything if I want. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so I, don't, I wouldn't say it's something I learned. In the, it's something I learned that that specific place taught me. Mm -hmm. But I won't say that it's in that specific place though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I even, I see it every day now. Mm -hmm. you know? So growing up, I know I think it was either a stats or something. You said thinking like killing and uh, thinking robbing and killing was hot. You feel me? And we you feel that Paris trip kind of help you adjust to seeing something different? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. That that was that was it for me. That was it for you? Yeah, that was it for me. So would you come back and tell your friends like we? You know, you sit there, you go out and chill, you kind of tell your friends like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, the world's bigger than Clinton. Yo, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. Like until that, and like that that trip, I came back a different human. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like I was like even even though I was rapping, you know, like before. Uh -huh. 
I wasn't really rapping to get on. Like I had no plan. I didn't give you know. You I rapping to the whole clique of here, yeah. I was just yeah, yeah. I was rapping for my circle, and uh, it made me just feel like yo, like what if I could really get bigger than this? You feel me? <laughs> right. Like yo, it that that was uh, it was definitely one of those moments. Right. Man. I end up going. To, I end up going to uh, South Carolina. You know, soon after. So, so that was another one of those things. That just seeing bigger. It was just rocket launching my growth, just as a human. Right. Like, you know what I mean. So, do you feel like that more if that happened for more people, especially at young age? People will want more, just in like, cause you see all the time, you be like, damn, bro, what happened to something? Like, it's like people get too comfortable. You feel like people travel a little bit more, they will want more. Hundred percent, man. I always say, like, I wish everybody could go to the south for a little bit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I was real. I feel I was real disrespectful and all of that before I went to the South. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a lot of family down there, but I didn't really like know them too much until that until I went down there at that time. Right. Like, and man, like people offer you a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like they think that's little, you right. know. But when, you know, I went in there. Yo, you, you want something to eat? You want something to eat? Right. I'm just like yo. Y'all like, too nice. <laughs> yeah. Like what's up? Like, it just just please please thank you how to just how to say hey you know what i mean mm -hmm. like good morning you know like right. I, I love all of that like right. I, it just it that really, change the energy man yeah, like i want to sit out here for real <laughs> for real man <laughs> so i i don't say around them times you're part of a crew smith guy like talk about that movement too yeah yeah man i, I created smith guys with uh with my boy Mige, man me and my, it was really only two of us originally, right. and uh, and then as we party, we kind of just started recruiting people, right? Like, oh, okay, okay, this is <laughs> this is Smeezy right here. Right. You feel me? And then uh, I think I think the third I think the the third member was uh, uh I think Ty, my boy Ty, and uh, you know he came with Rico because you it's one of the things where you got to get them as a duo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He came with Rico, and then we ran into Scooby. He came with Quay, you know what I'm saying? And he had <laughs> that Smeeze guy. Right. Word. See, Everybody. I was having all the parties and stuff, throwing parties like back then, right? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we was, you know what I'm saying? You, you was there, right? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I was, I was in Harrietta, but you know you were here. We on Facebook, so everything's getting seen on Facebook yeah, at that time. Yeah, as far as the party scene, <laughs> man, we had that on lot, man. For real. Word, word, word. So, um, you just mentioned my gel. Talk about your relationship with my gel and stuff like that, bro, in the past and bro. Mind you, uh, mm. you know what I'm saying? That's my that's my boy. Right. Uh, goddamn. Uh, what you want me to talk about? Just talk, about give it. us a funny moment. Just talk about my job. Describe him as like like because I got a point out that I feel like I used to be with you like every day. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. That's a fact, man. That, my job, That's my that's my first friend. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like like you know like like everybody else was blood. You know until right. I met Mindu. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, uh, me and Maja, we almost like family. My cousin, you know, my cousin Shamara is Maja's, uh sister. Right. You know, so I, she was, you know, she I was with her, you know, one day. And she older, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she used to watch me and stuff. But she just passed too, R.I.P. R.I.P. Oh, her. And uh, one day we went to, we went to uh, Maja crib. And it was my first time meeting Maja. And, uh, um. When we got there, I don't think Maja was there right when we got there. Uh, we was playing. It was like it was like a bunch of kids outside. I think we was playing like shoot 'em up, bust 'em up, and uh, you know shoot 'em up, bust 'em up, yeah. Guys, right? Yeah. yeah. That's that's just sound crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yo no bull. I don't think kids nowadays even know what that is, but yeah. they probably don't know nothing like no games that we. Yeah. They probably don't know curl. They probably know nothing. I ain't gonna lie. They know this know the. Playstations and iMessage games probably. Word. <laughs> if I think yo, when I met Mindu, we was playing shoot 'em up, bust 'em. You know when you get tackled, you gotta shoot the ball in the air. Yeah. I think he was some just walking up type shit. Somebody didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> must have shot the ball. He caught that bitch, and I must have like cracked him or some shit. Like yo, you know what I'm saying? And then bro was on some tight shit. Yeah, I think niggas was like getting into it. And, right. You know, they made us sit down like, but, yeah, you, that's, that's, ah, uh, ah, uh, you better, you know what I mean? But you, know, you know, that's crazy. That's how a lot of friends would start. Stuff. You guys start off paying each other, and then yeah. next you know, that's like your best friend. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> we were like, we were like 10, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't really about nothing for real. But you know, I'm saying as a kid, especially, you know, like the, the kid that you be close with the longest run, yeah. and the kid that you like envy at first, and then y'all become like that hate turns to love. Yeah, that's a fact, <laughs> man. 
That's a fact, man. Me and Michael, bro, we've been through everything, bro. Mm. Like, it ain't nothing that, you know what I'm right. saying? I even see one of your, one of your interviews, it was you and Michael together. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, you the best yeah, bad rapper. You. I was thinking about bringing that up. So listen, since you brought it up, I'm going to bring it up. Uh-huh. Listen. So that's funny, though. Listen, that that interview, I always watch that, bro, because it, it just tell you a lot about, you know, what me, me and Majo, you know, like our, our positions in each other's life. Right. Know? It's like we, we, we was like the devil and angel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And like you see in the interview, uh... They, they like, oh, this person said this about you, man. How you feel about that? I'm like, man, I'm just trying to move with peace and love. Man. Yeah, I ain't yeah. worried about anybody else. And my just like, nah, bro, fuck all that, bro. I smack the shit out of these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Mike's crazy, man. Oh, man. Word, word. Now, that's a funny moment, though, Tay John. I argue all my joke. But you, man. We um we gonna send our condolences to my and stuff like that. But like I feel like like you know how they say people pass and sometimes you think we lose one whole time. Guard, like we gain it was an angel now. And then I I ain't gonna lie, I feel like you've been receiving a lot of blessing because we see you at the plug me plugs. You uh, uh God out works for a record label say he wanted to sign you. Mm-hmm. You see Bay know like oh this fire who produced it. You see like the worry connection. How does that all feel now, man? It feel, it feel good. It feel good. It feel like, you know, it's, it's coming together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in these last, what, uh, three weeks, just mad stuff just been happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's happening so fast. Like, you know, up until up until now, I probably had maybe two offers in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As far as labels and shit. Right. Like, I get a call, like, not no stretch at all, bro. I get a call probably three, three times a week. Like from another, you know, from somebody else. Another porn, yeah. Want to do a deal, like, and it's like, yo, all right, we, we picking up, you right? Feel me? <laughs> Word. What do you think about um, King Perry made this album stand out that everybody's getting behind it, like that everybody's trying to see it? What you did you do differently? Uh, I think it was the timing. Hmm? I, I mean, it, it was a much better, you know, album than the rest of the albums too. Nah, know? I can't say that, bro. I can't say that. Some pro- every every album got these four or five songs that were fired. Like, so you can't say that because there's certain songs. I mean, we, we'll talk about it later. You yeah, you right. You right. You right. Because uh, it was a pe- it was it's still a couple people saying that <laughs> you know they they got they got my name is Gus first. Yeah, my name is Gus. That's that's. I got more to Wu take in front from my name is Gus than this project, honestly. Oh, word, yeah. word. Yeah, this was the first. This is the first uh, album I did with marketing. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like this is yeah. I I I, I used to be anti that. I used to feel like yo. Bro, I got the hottest shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if niggas hear it, they gonna let it out. They can hear it. And then that's just how that work. But it's really not how that work, bro. You gotta put yourself in people's face. Nobody just gonna say, where's the hottest rapper? And then they gonna think it's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, yeah, you really gotta put yourself in people's face, man. And, and it's all about that timing, man. Like, I was been, I've been binge watching marketing videos. Like, timing is everything. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, it, like, even making posts, you, why are you making posts at two a.m.? You know what I'm Cause saying? Cause you know people. Uh, somebody else look yeah, at it. Yeah, but when, when you get them, when you get those people, when you post it at a high hour, and then all those people commenting at the same time, they pick up on the algorithms. You mm. know what I'm saying? All them comments getting in, now they putting you in front of more people right. naturally. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and you, you, it's really about that timing, man. Preparation too. Mm. Ah, man, preparation. You, you, you. Out of all, if, if there's any rappers watching this, man, stay prepared, bro. Stay prepared, man. Right. I, I want everybody to test my preparation. I, you, I keep a, I keep a USB. I keep, you know, <laughs> I keep three USBs on me with, with my whole performance set. You never know when you might have a show. Bro, you know, you know, it's crazy because when we um. When I first seen you at the plugs, I mean, plugs event, you were just there listening to that Who That Ten before. Like, yeah. I was vlogging. You said, I'm, 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 I just want to listen to Who That Ten vlog. Like, right, right. Because you watch the vlog, you be watching Who That Ten. I'm like, bro, I want you to rap for this person, bro. Then you know, you got speakers. I'm like, bro, where you got speakers well, at, that, bro? That's what I, I was. <laughs> yo, before you got, before I even ran into you, yeah. I was playing the music yeah. for everybody. That, yo, that's preparation, that's too. That's preparation. Because a lot of yeah. people, and people going, I'm a rapper. And they rap from you feel me, but a lot of people are not rappers. Where like it, gonna, it needs the beat to sound good, you feel me? So like they gonna hear, oh, that sound nice, but how does it sound like in the music? Yo, that's I, that's a fact. It's I, I say I say I ain't gonna lie. Like somebody who rap like me, 
like you, you, it's easier to promote our music because we are the talent. Like, yeah, yeah, you know that's what I think. Cause they gonna sit. Yeah, we walk around with the talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, huh? like plus, you know, I, it's not, it's not a. I don't put in the effort, you know, to sound different. You know, it just that's just you. Like, it's what I make, yeah. it, and it and it just happens to be this way. But it's it's working in my favor, like, right? You know, what but I mean? that's what I always think. Like the like, bro, from like. Even the way you dress, bro. I remember those times you used to wear like a, uh, like a, I feel like it was a, like a, like not a, like somebody a businessman would wear. Like I don't even know what to call it. Oh, like, like, like a blazer, like yeah, a, yeah, like that like stuff, a, like, like a trench coat and shit. Yeah, yeah, like stuff like in the yeah. hat and the, just, like yeah. you just stand out like that, bro. Like he don't like a, like a typical. You know how they would say like a, a, a black guy would stand out basically, bro. Cause you see black kids for the most part they sagging. Yeah. They were, but you was like you always had your own style and you always spoke yeah. loud, like and just stood out every time. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that, that's a fact, man. I, I kind of like always was on, you know, on a more casual wave in a way. You know, it just kind of as I grew into who I'm gonna be, it just got more right. better and better. Plus the line of work that I was in, you know, right. what I'm saying? Like, I was, you know, I was an interior decorator. I was decorating houses, you know? right? So I kind of had to, you know, dress nice. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? and I hope that helped you stand up. But talk about like the way no code sign, you feel me? Because that's the, and, and like, usually when you play a song for somebody, they'll be listening to 30 seconds. You even said, like, you even said it, like, I was only play 30 seconds for you. He's like, yeah, yeah. I know, but I, I, I just got into it. And I just started liking, like, and the device that his man, Black Diamonds, gave you too in the, um, in yeah. the clip. Yeah, yo, I, so I didn't know that was Wayno, you right. know, I actually didn't know. I, I remember that we were looking for him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? you like, yo, make sure you play it for Wayno. And we, you know, we was just playing it, kind of playing it for everybody in the area for a second. Right. And then, uh, um, but yeah, I, I was like, yo, you trying to hear 30 seconds of this joint? I just dropped the album. I, I, I was playing it. I was getting ready to stop it, but you know, he was like, on some like, hold on, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, it's the end of the song. <laughs> and uh, he like, yo, this crazy, you know what I right. mean? And then uh, he bought the album too. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, when you ain't come prepared and you just be on something like, yo, yeah, I'm a rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a billion rappers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They they don't know if you good or not. Right. You know, so so they are just, you know, like you said it, but now they just gonna keep going with they day, they never gonna remember that. Right. You can give them a card if you want, never gonna listen to it, you right. know what I'm saying? But he heard it and he like, yo, this is crazy. And that's bro. how important that is. Bought the whole album, listen to the album. Mm -hmm. Hit me and let me know about the album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like everybody not doing that, so that was that was love, man. I I, I appreciate that. I definitely. And that's just a fire because he one of the people like he signs artists. You feel me? Like yeah. so to see like somebody like him saying this is a uh, project is fire. Right. That just shows you doing the right thing because you know you know he might be like I, I don't think I could do I could be better, but he gonna tell somebody else about you. He got in his project yeah. now it's in his shuffle. Yeah. And, and you never know what that might do because sometimes yeah. the thing don't it's always happen overnight. It might they might not see the vision right now, but six months from like, I want that kid I want that kid niggas I rap. Yeah. Now you want his radar. You feel me? Like just yeah, off of that. That's a fact. That's a fact. And then next I just seen you got a co-sign from Rory, bro, from uh, Rory the Mall podcast. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. the Joe Budden podcast, but yeah. he got he got a bear too, and he said you got the best album of the year. Like and you know like and that's the bold story. He yeah. didn't say. Local rapper, I mean lo local best album of the year. You said best album of the year. Yeah, yeah. Talk yeah. about that. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Rory, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't, I, I'm really not a hundred percent. I don't want to say this, and he watched the video and be like, "What?" Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not. 100%. But he said the project's fire, regardless. Right, right. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure how he even know who I am, though. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Because I, I just know that you know. Uh, he know Wayno, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. maybe that, maybe that's how they, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I, yeah. But the only thing he told me, because you know, the crazy thing about it, because after that plug me plug, Wayno did go on the press one in New York City, like he was around doing a lot of interviews. So yeah. I don't know, maybe his interview didn't come out with Rory and Marlon. I gotta ask him. I gotta, <laughs> I, I gotta ask him, man. Uh, I actually just spoke to Rory like probably like 30 minutes before you got here, but I, I gotta ask him. Uh, I just know when I first spoke to him, he was just saying like, yo, me and Fonte, you know, Fonte, yeah. your brother, like, yeah, we just listening to your album, bro, all day, yo, that, you know what I'm saying, right. that's too crazy, and I'm just like, Fonte, like, yo, <laughs> stop playing, right. boy, like, you know, you know Spotify make the little custom playlist for you, you know what I'm saying, right. I, 
It ain't never a day they don't got Fonte on my playlist because they know, you know what I'm saying? That's, mm-hmm. who, that's who I've been listening to, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I thought that was weird, like, yo, of all people. Right. right. Like, word. And the Fonte messing with it, it's legit, you right. know what I mean? <laughs> so, so he DM'd you at first, then did you go to New York City? Or like, well, how did that go about meeting him face to face? Like, New York that? City. Where, where did he go? Where did you see him at? Toronto. Toronto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought New York City. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. He, uh, he DM'd me. You know what I'm saying? Like on some, you know, like yo, bro, this album crazy, ah, ah. And I'm like, yo, good looks. You know, I did the little, yeah. little hands or whatever. And then he said, yo, hit me. Sent this number, and then I hit him. Uh, and then he just going, he was going on and on about the album. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you know, this track is that, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? He really fucked with uh, a lot has happened. You feel me? A lot has happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that song like. That that meant that that mean more to me than everything on the album. Word, yeah, I, man, that song meant a lot to me. I needed to get it off. Like, it, 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 I feel free after I after I recorded that song or after I released that song. I'm like, man, like, I just feel better. I feel like I was holding stuff in. Right, like, I just needed to get it off. Right, but uh, yeah, man, that was that. I mean, you know, uh, he told me, you know, he like, yo, let's link up. Uh, uh. And then uh, he was—he just happened to about to be in Toronto, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, all right, bet I'm just you know hit you and you and you know get, yeah. to, get to get to Toronto. Niggas was late. We hit, we, was, we, hit, we was late as hell type shit. So we couldn't really link up until after the show because it was right. a lot. It was a lot going on. You yeah. feel me? That's how I be. That's a part of the process. Yeah, yeah. But we linked up after the show. It was mad love. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, bro, you know, we're going to the studio later, you feel me? Like, yo, and you know, like niggas locked in with some 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 heads, you oh, know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo, it's, 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 it's you know what I mean? Everything, it's everything like, going, everything looking, everything looking good, but yeah. everything wasn't always good, because you, I mean, I seen, I seen Mika Stats say, like, bro, like, just like, like, I don't know if it was a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago, but you said, Cause last year, bro, I lost it all. Like, just talk about like how you were able, like, just see everything come back into full, like. Yeah, man, yo, you know, business was booming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I won't put too much of a business now. No, 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 I'm saying about like losing everything. Like, you remember yeah. seeing like, bro, yo, but you were from one of my arrays to like, you, 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 like, it was just, like, I, want, I just want this to be able to motivate people too, cause yeah. people, there's probably somebody that's going like, damn, bro, I'm ready to give up. Tell you, that's that's you, you, you was once so there. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all everything. <laughs> Man, I made what? Uh, first year of doing business, made a hundred thousand. Second year, made two hundred thousand. Third year, almost hit three hundred thousand. But I got, I got, I got. You know, I got excited, like just like somebody who never had nothing. Right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I started buying stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I started, bu- you know, I started buying cars. Started buying. C- you know, clothes. Yeah, as you say, you got you got mess it up the first. That's you got mess it up and get back right, but that's a fact, man. So, but the thing is, you got to be built to get back, man. Like I'm talking about when I said when I when, I don't know if you you heard back therapy. Yeah, it was that's that's not just rap, bro. That's real <laughs> life. I'm talking about I lost everything. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like it just started going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just started, uh, I got comfortable and I just told myself, you ain't got to work, bro. Look how, you know, look yeah, you, got, you got the money now yet. You know, with the, with, the, with the money and with the things I was buying, it come bad atten- att- attention, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about I, probably a couple of shorties that, you know what I'm saying? Probably, yeah, DM was in my DM. It was shorties just, you know, pouring in. Right. Like, they was, hey, big headed me to death, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like you know, you know, shout out, shout out to my wife, you know, saying my daughter, you mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, I, I lost sight of what I had, you know what I'm saying, right? It'd be like, yes, and, yeah. and uh, I, you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, you think you got something to complain about, you know what I'm saying, like, you, you must not know, you must not know, I, I can have anybody, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. but she, you know, she not, she not anybody, you know, like, yeah. like. It, not no, it's not no another her, you know what I'm saying? Like she's everything, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I, I pushed, you know, until until eventually. It God, was, God uh, humble you. You said, mm-hmm. bro, just, you, as quick as you got, I show you, like, bro, you got to make her humble. Yeah. You lose it all. I told her she could step. Then she, <laughs> then she step. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And boy, oh boy, life changed, boy. Like 
you know, I do everything for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everything, I, it's all for them, man. And man, when, when you lose your reason, you lose your passion. I'm t I didn't care about no rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just wanted, I don't know. Everything was falling apart, bro. I started, I was just having bad anxiety. Uh, I end up, you know, going to therapy. And uh, um, I don't, I don't even. <laughs> she might watch this, but you know, my, uh, you know, financial advisor or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she, she, you know, I wasn't even able to pay. I had to stop paying her. You know, that sure. money kept coming out. That's just, you know, that's yeah. like a thousand a month. Yeah, yeah, you know saying or a, th a thousand a week. I think I was paying like a thousand a week, so I stopped paying her. You know, because I was not listening to her. You know, she's like, oh, yeah, make sure you don't do this. You can't spend this much again. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's already like, but, yo. But just how I look at it, right? It's good that you went through it because, like, now you're going to be making money from your art. You feel me? Now that you went through that already, yeah. Oh, what's, yeah. Your, what's money from your art, you already, like, you already tempted us ahead. Because, like, I've been through this before. I'm not going to make the same mistake. You'll be, like, you, you'll be a full make the same mistake again and yo, again. You feel me? That's so, right. so you got to look at, like, everything is a lesson. And a, Yo, it it was all it was all uh God everything that happened, bro, was necessary. Like, and I'm so happy it had, you know almost everything, but like it, I'm 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 happy that it happened, bro. Right. I, I, like I, I didn't know I was grieving. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was grieving. Like like me spending that money like that was my escape. Cause when I was first getting money, I was you know I was moving the right way, mm -hmm. but I was so sad that I just was like, yo. Like yo, I gotta like you know look like something. Like, right. Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know how everybody got yeah. that two faced car. Like you feel me? Yeah. Could be hurt on the inside, but really like for crying real. out for help. I was I had I was living in an alter ego. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't even think that was me because like I used to go. You know I used to when I was in the bathroom. I used to see myself in the mirror. It'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, who is this, you know, controlling my body? It was like, yo, I was living in an alter ego and trying to escape it. I felt like the black Spider-Man or something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And uh, it just it just wasn't it, but I just didn't know I was grieving, man. And I, you know, therapy, I will say, it, like, helped me realize that. And once I realized that, I was able to, you know what I'm saying, like, kind of take the steps I needed to take to, to, to really get back. I ended up leaving therapy because my you know, I lost all my money. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh one day they told me that bill and I ain't had that money, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and that's why the song, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the reason why the song called Bank Therapy. You know what I'm saying? Uh but yeah man, I, that was a, I feel like that's one song that hurt a lot of people. You you might have to push that again because that's a song that a lot of people probably gonna feel, especially with like think about it like then the pandemic, everybody probably was had like up a lot of money. Then yeah. like everybody back to regular now, like no respect no more. But that's this is what happened yeah, in the pandemic. Yeah. So a lot of people hear that song like damn, but this was me, bro. I feel it like mm -hmm. like you said, everything happens for a reason, bro. Right. I don't want you to tell that story because it's like a lot of a lot of people going through what you was going through before, and yeah. they think about giving up. But to see like they see niggas like oh he winning right now, he like it's looking good, but it wasn't always like it. Bro, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> it was man. always me. That's a fact. I was doing the worst when I was looking the best. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I had never been so like I I'm I'm still recovering. Yeah. Like it I ain't got, yo, my pocket's hurting right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the thing is I'm at peace. You are happy. I'm rich yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I had a lot of money then, but I'm rich now. Yeah. And that's way saying? better than having more like money ha being you. happy with us is more but way more important than having I'm money. Tell you, man, I got everything. I got everything, <laughs> bro. I, I hope everybody get a chance to, to, to lose, you know, to... To, to lose, because you know they say you don't know what you lost to. You don't know what you have to, you lose it. Yeah, and if you get it back, you blessed. So you right? blessed. Because it's like, it's like think, think about it, a lot of times, like, damn, I wish I was in high school game. Like, the life is so simple. We wanted to be grown so bad. Yeah, we yeah. all, now we got bills. Like, damn, bro, take back to high school. I got nothing to pay for. That's a fact, <laughs> all you got to do is worry about, like, getting, up, getting home from school or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Facts. Where, but even, even with the journey as far as like getting the arts coast on, you was in the studio with Young GC before, right? Or you, like what? Yeah, talk yeah. about that, bro. Yeah, I was actually around. I was with uh, I saw BL. You know, so I was around GZ and BL down there every day. And right. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, you know, me and my brother, we was on some personal assistant type shit. You know, you how did you get that? Really, how did you get that? Oh, connection relationship, like. It's, so my uncle Tyson, right, is a basketball player. Like he, he, you know, what I'm saying, on some old, you know, he went to uh, uh, Rock Hill, you know, and um, 
or not right i'm tripping out What's that? No, no, let right. me let me let me let me shut up I don't, I, you know I, he, I, don't, I can't remember what so what team he played yeah. for but uh his jersey is retired you know what i'm saying he's gonna kill me when he watches <laughs> he's like yeah, he's he like no <laughs> yeah he, his jersey is retired you know what i'm saying and, uh -huh. like he just he a legendary basketball player but mm -hmm. on his journey you know during the basketball player he, he gained brothers you know what i'm saying like him and dj drama and uh bl uh born legends bl you probably know he is he a, he like an a and r shit too right. but uh they was you know real tight mm -hmm. and when i was in when i was in atlanta i didn't you know i didn't know what i what to do with myself you know i was trying to figure it out mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and uh i needed a job <laughs> you know but i wanted to be around the music yeah of course yeah. and uh you know he, he he took me to bl bl you know what I'm saying? Hooked me and my brother up. You know, we was just around. He, he made sure we was on the scene. Yo, we, I was standing, I was sitting this close to Lil Wayne one day. You know That's what I'm saying? <laughs> I tough. didn't say nothting. You know, that was, yo, that, was, that was a big problem of mine too. I, you know, I was around all these people. You say it was wrong with Uzi, but you had nothing to present to them. Bruh, nothing. I was not prepared, bro. And I, now you see, you learn from that. Now I'm not. See, everything comes back in full circle. You learn yeah. that lesson, now you be. Now you prepared, now you say you say you say you have to everybody gotta go through that, but that's how you know. Yeah, that's a fact. I didn't even tell niggas I was a rapper. Right. I did like, <laughs> once I did though, you know what I'm saying? Like right. like I, I you know what I'm saying? Stuff started coming together for real, but but like I just was not prepared, bro. Like I had I was in I was in the studio all the time. Why wasn't I recording? What would you do like you were just a person like what would Pretending? you do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. It's crazy because I was in the opportunity to make things real, but I was I just needed to pretend. Mm -hmm. Like I was in there pretending like I was already there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Instead mm -hmm. of being hungry and right. letting niggas know like, oh yo, I actually need this. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like like you know I Man, I, I almost said something, but you know, it's none of my business. Yeah. Uzi had a little situation one day, you know right. what I'm saying? This is when this is when Uzi just coming out. Twenty sixteen. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm talking about. We was around. We was around Uzi. I think I, before before you know the I don't really get you girl. Yeah. I think we was there. You know when he was recording that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but but um like. You know, he was having some bank therapy, you know, situation. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But in my eyes, I'm thinking like, yo, how could you have, you know, this much? And, and lose he, it. Yeah. And we all looking from the outside. Yeah, level. yo, but you don't understand, <laughs> bro. When you get a million dollars, you got million dollar bills now. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And you want to buy so much stuff. Like, you ain't not seen as much money before. You want, bro, when I get rich, like, I was like, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. You just do everything you want to do as a kid. That's a fact, <laughs> man. Like, all these females, I want a man with to make six figures. <laughs> Yo, go ahead, get you one. You're going to find out real quick. We we ain't got nothing for right. you. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 not, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, man. You get more money, you get more problems, too. Everybody, you, you once you get the, once you start getting money, you take it. Like, you, you, you be taking care of mad people, man. Like, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to stop. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna take care of who need taken care of. But you know it's kind of hard when you just be trying to put everybody in position. Like I got, I got survivor's guilt real bad, bro. I got survivor's guilt so bad. I'm, I, you know, my therapist brought that to my attention, man. And I just be feeling like, you know, they feel like I got it, even though I don't got it. I got to give it to them because they're gonna be hurt if I don't give them what they feel like I got. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when I give it to them, I got nothing. You know, so I got, I got to kill that, man. I've gotten a lot better, but it's yeah. kind of hard to say no. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Trying to make everybody happy around you, basically. For real. So would that be like? Cause I know you like you the type of hip hop you like. You call you the type of person call a lot of people whack. You feel me? So being do you respect that type of hip hop, like the little Uzis and like not 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 calling them out specifically, but like yeah. the type of sound that coming from that being like your know, person that like raw like lyric. I'm I'm not gonna call you a contract, but. It's my like meaningful music from like yeah, music that's yeah. gonna last forever. Cause said that yeah. music that's here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, nah, that I think I say I would say that's 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 old, that's an old version of myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I kind of evolved past. That, okay, okay. That, yeah. you, bro, you used to go by on a book calling people trash like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you know that was part of the reason I disappeared, man. You know I had my baby on the way. Yeah. Three now. 
And you know, three years ago, I disappeared from the scene. You right. know? Yeah. I, I, I had wanted to like recreate myself. I was trying to like not be seen in that in that eye no more, man, because I I was the villain for real. <laughs> I didn't mind being the villain because I thought I, I, I kind of was looking at everything the wrong way. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I thought that just like yo, I, I'm gonna just show somebody that I'm the best. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But like you kind of just have to be. The best for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Do, do it. You know, everybody else gonna go to do what they do. But me trying to prove it kind of made it feel like maybe, I, you know, to everybody else, that is, I was like, I, right. I still feel like, you, you know, I just, I just, like, you know, I feel, still feel like I can't be touched. But me keep going out my way to prove it to everybody right. made it seem like it was something that needed proving. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even what point proving, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, know, it was me. Like, it's already, you know, if I if I'm if I am as good as I say, everybody would know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I stopped saying it, you know, and just did my thing, you know. And uh, like, it just it was. I just wanted to be different, man. I don't. I didn't want to be the villain no more. I, uh, I already killed everybody. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Bro, I don't. Like, I feel. Like, I feel like it's a good thing in a like. A good thing because you're making this a competition to make you break. Like it's like LeBron and like same thing about LeBron and Kobe. I'm mm -hmm. first LeBron probably think like yo I'm better than Kobe, but that's to bring the competitive side. I want to go right. back. I'm going. This is your period. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of the rappers are sensitive. So we eat something yo, that's trash. Like, yo, I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, we eat something that's trash. It's like they don't know how to like. They have so much yesmen around them. Yeah. And, and and I feel like it's bad. It's bad too because now we have rappers going to booth making like. You no know, respect to TikTok, but a lot of them songs is not good at all, bro. Yeah. And that's what's killing hip hop. Like they, they said the music sales are down forty percent. That's because a lot of the music that's coming out is it's garbage, bro. Yeah, like, that's a fact. It's, it's garbage. Like, it's all the same too, man. Mm -hmm. Like like it's not a lot of people that can actually rap, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But at, at, like when you can't rap, you forced to do other things. Not not, not I'm not talking about other music. Personality, but, like yeah, personality got music. You know what I'm saying? Like like you got you got uh, you know the girl. Jaden and Alexis and them, like the Blueface baby mom, they doing yeah. up. They got trending songs on YouTube, and we on tune in because the controversy behind it. Yo, we see. I see. I see the one. The one light skinned girl with the fro all the Ice time. Ice Spice. I see Ice Spice all the time. What song though? I I don't know her. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you you do niggas know her raps though? Yeah, she you know, for shaking butt and like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But but she you know she gotta do it. Right. That's why when niggas say, do you like them type of rappers? Niggas ain't rappers though. I yeah. saw I, I, they cool. You know, they, I feel like we got carry a different lane for them, bro. Like, yeah, because really, you know, like, when I think when we think of rap and just like uh, like what like you think like the the Tupac's like and I'm not a big Tupac fan, but like from the like. It's something that was substance. You feel me? Thinking like yeah, hip hop yeah. is something with substance. Word. Nowadays, it's like is I listen to the song. You like the beat. You don't like the song. You like the beat. You like the, you really like the beat. Yeah, no, <laughs> you fact. really like the beat. Yeah, that's a fact. It, you you really like the chain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like yo, bro. You like the visual part. You like the image that you just see yeah. on TV. You feel me? That's you don't really like the lyrics because they're not saying nothing that you couldn't have made up, bro. Nothing, no creative. Exactly. It's too easy. Yo, There's a reason why everybody didn't grab because it's too. The shit that people are saying now is too easy. Since so now, I feel like a rapper too. Because if he get away with it, I can get away with it too. Yo, a few years ago, bro, I was going back and forth with a rapper from here about that, bro, and, and I was just telling him like, yo, play your song, any line you want, Google mm -hmm. it. You will see, like, yo, I Google this man lyrics, bro. Like any line you want, <laughs> it, you will see it, how many songs got, got the it. same. You know, it's like everybody making songs and they just like using the you the know same put re recycle, it, yeah, <laughs> putting all the lines in a different <laughs> order. Like, bro, come on, bro. And that's why everybody think it could be a rapper nowadays. That's why it's the game is too easy type thing. And everybody can. And it's not even all about. It's not even all about subject matter for real. I'm, you know, I don't care. like even. But it's about, about, talk about, about, it's about it's about it's about talk about something that like yeah. when I when I see your list when I listen to this I want to know your story your vision what you got right, going on right. not everybody rap about the same thing how many times you like with drill music bro I, I, how many people gonna say like spin that shot thirty okay like y'all all do the same thing I can't tell who's who like a song come out I'm like what's one of these like what's one of the I'm starting to feel like some people's stories be borrowed. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what happened, like, but that's painting art, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like so, when you hear it in the raps, you just it feel like really just fake. Right. Like, it don't it don't feel right. Like <laughs> somebody who went through that ain't saying that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
One I forgot to ask you about is I still had a song, Joey Badass. Did it ever come out? Nah, nah, it didn't. What, what was the trace of that? The, my verse was trash. But you know what? I, I was young, you know, I had the opportunity, you know, like like it was right there in front of me, you know what I'm saying? It, it took, and as it, you should. Yeah, it was on some now or never, you know what I'm saying? But I will tell you this, man, that is a good time to release it. You feel me? Right. Cause I still I still got it. I yeah. still got it. I can do whatever I want with it actually. I um you know what I'm saying? I just can't get him to redo it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh you got I mean I could if I wanted him to pay, but yeah. you know what I mean? But uh yeah, yeah. I I, I think this is a good time to uh put it out, you right. know what I'm saying? So uh, I ain't gonna lie, that's fine. But you took a risk on yourself. That just shows that you wanted this more. Like, but that's yeah. all it. All it does is take is taking a risk. You didn't have to drive to Bloomingfield, whatever it is, for the plus B plus. Right. You didn't have to drive to Toronto for like what you right. say. You got this clean. You didn't have to drive to Toronto. You bet, you bet on yourself. You probably didn't like make no money off of it, but you right. went and put that risk on yourself. So. Yeah. But like just a couple seconds ago before the camera had cut off, we was talking about like <laughs> you showed him. You told Robert to play his lyrics and the, everything he says on Google, right? Mm -hmm. Who are some people you listen to? Like, who are the people music that you like though? Locally? Locally and industry. Let's go with, like, give me like five, six local, give me five, six industry. All right, five, six local. Uh, can we, can we I, catch I, don't know if you, I don't know if you're familiar with Billy Blunt. That's right, I was with, with, with us three. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm tripping, yeah, 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 that's a fact. You know, I've been, I been like really on some, like, locking in the bro, bro yeah. music for real, man. Uh, uh, Hassan Mackey. Yeah. Damn, that's been crazy that you understand. Like, this the one that I read you rap. Now you got you got a show coming up with him. Yeah, same <laughs> yeah, man. It's, yo, he inspired. Uh, yo, I, it's no need to I rap without you know without his sign. Does she know that? Eddie B is just another version of of me. You know right. what I'm saying? Does she know that? Uh, yeah, yeah. He know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna clip it off so you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he if he don't know, he probably know now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I did kind of express yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Who else, man, locally, uh, that I listen to? Oh, man, I don't want to diss nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't listen to a lot, a lot of people. Right. A lot of people locally, uh, um. You know, if you don't know that, that's what I'm not saying. They probably know, yeah. they probably know you rock with who you rock with them. Yeah. A lot of these people you grew up with, so it's all, you know, it's all kind of yeah. mutual respect, hey, John. Yeah. What about, like, industry-wise, who you listening to? Industry-wise, I, I don't listen to a lot of rappers. You know, I, I listen to, like, uh, you know, Leon Bridges. Uh, that kind of good. But I can see them. Yeah, I listen to... Uh, uh, you know, Bobby Brown is my favorite artist all the time. Like, yeah, yeah. I was in the top like 0.5% of people who listen to him on Spotify. <laughs> Word. So I listen to Bobby Brown probably every day. Uh, Chance the Rapper. I can see that. Um, uh, who else am I listening to? Look at my sp I listen to me. You know what I'm saying? So you don't get a top playing your own music? Nah. Now you can't say that because I, I just told you push two black kids and you're like, bro, I don't want to hear that no more. Yeah, I get probably <laughs> playing that. Yo, that joint was overly played out, bro. Like, but you know, that's but the storyline, the vid, that joint was yeah, fire, bro. Yeah, it was cool. You know, it's like nice hearing it on the radio and stuff like that. But it was playing. I was hearing it. I, I was hearing it, performing it that, that ten times a day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was going too crazy. Oh, I, I, oh, I did say his song. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, look, that's how, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you see, I, I listen to me. I, I got Miguel. You see, I got Kendrick on there. Oh, my boy Grio Noy, man. I've been fucking with my boy Grio Noy. You see, that's, you know, everybody go check out Still Fly. Still Fly. You know what I'm saying? Man. Still Fly out. It's my boy Grio Noy. He going to be here November 11th, too. Talk about that show you got coming out November 11th. Yeah. I feel like if you said it's giving you a hard time about having a show because, we used to hip hop shows. They be like, you, you be like, that's the type of crowd I bring. I bring high vibration hip hop. Yeah, that's a fact. I, I don't, I'm not sure what was up with that, man. I, I just, I was reaching out to, you know, to a couple places, and they just was like, awesome. Oh, oh, we're not, we trying to, we not trying to do these type of events at the moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what type of events, bro? Like, right. what that mean? You know what I'm saying? Right. And, but. I had my mans hit, you know, hit the, some of these same venues up right after me. Right. Is you she know? Caucasian? 
Yeah, yeah. Man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your white boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, you know, and, and now it was all good. You know right. what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm really not sure what's the whole I, thing to that. What's but, your thoughts when people get like, because a lot of things that get popularized, like the, you feel me, when we see it right, right now, the Vine is getting promoted. How you feel about when that's like what people think of hip hop? That's the stereotype for hip hop. Uh, I hate it. I hate it, honestly, man. I feel like people don't open their eyes enough or like I, I, I or ears be... enough to like see more than they. Like, it's like with rock. We probably see the rock going crazy all the tattoos, but there's probably some rock stars don't got none of that. We just don't open like our. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but like eyes and ears to even like, go more into depth. Okay, maybe this person's doing that, but there's somebody else that be standing out. You feel me? Yeah, I, I'll be. I'll, I'll be. Sometimes I feel like I, I at one point you know was contributing to that. And I, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate it, man. I'd be like, yo, I, I listen to some old songs. I'd be like, why would I say something? <laughs> like, it's, <Right>. just, <laughs> it's ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. But, man, I, 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 I don't like it, man. You know, I understand everybody got to say their story. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, I don't know. I, I just don't like it at all. I don't like it. Uh, who, I, was, I, I used to listen to... Uh, it's Troy Ave. Yeah. Troy Ave. Yeah. I, I never really liked it. I always thought, like, maybe his personality didn't well, but I always thought he was a corny rapper because of the stuff he did, so yeah. it never made me want to go bump his album for real, for real. Yeah, he he was a great shit talker, and at the time, yeah. I was a big shit talker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you see, that that kind of hurt his career because everybody went against him when the situation was that. That's a fact, but it helped mine. <laughs> you know, like, niggas did, like, I but I was talking, you was talking shit on some lyrical like yeah, you, yeah I kept it he, right. Yeah, he, he, he was keeping it like street yeah, and, 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 like, yeah. he called him chant. I think he called like little baby corny or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Cornball yeah. rap like he yeah, take it, he, he make it personal. Kendrick Lamar weirdo. Like, yeah, yeah. That was the last time I had listened to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying we don't, we don't, we don't do the dot, the dot slander, man. Right. Word, but uh. Yeah, man, I, I think we making a transition though, man. I think we got like like the rap the rap is like the real rap is kinda easy. It's, it's to coming back. back. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. got to cause bro, like we getting older and stuff. All the people that like are um drug dealing game and music, they gonna go in the jail and stuff like that. That's it's true. like bro, eventually it's like if you rap like that, you bring you invite that type of energy to you, like and you know how that goes. But when you bring positive energy it's like that's what you gonna get back out, or like you rap about your like your own past and growth is what's gonna is what people grow up on. You feel me? Or right. keep on moving forward. But um, mm -hmm. oh, you you mentioned not wanting to be a uh, boxing as a conscious rapper. Yeah, yeah, man. I I, uh, I kind of don't mind it now. I did feel like that though at the time. Man. Right. Like they could call me whatever kind of rapper they want. You know, what I'm saying as long as they know I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you sure. but, but man, I, I just feel like people kill me with the yeah. You can't compare them to he a conscious rapper. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like it's hip hop. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it, but no, no, no. I feel kind of agree because certain people just can't compare it to that. I like compare Kendrick to Chief Keef. Like I'm not like two different. Yeah, but you know who the better rapper though? It, Even it, if you the bigger Chief Keef fan. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Chief Keef, I'll give Kendrick and J Cole their credit. Yeah. yeah, like you know who the better rapper, and that's kind of like that's how I be looking at it. You know what I'm <laughs> like, like you you can compare whoever you want. You mm. know what I'm saying? As far as rap, uh, when it's two good people, you know it, it's a debate. Right. But when it's like when you got a shit a shit rapper, and then you got J Cole, he is not it's no it's debate. no conversation. Right. You know what I mean? Word. So I know we talked a lot about music. I want to jump a little bit to your personal life. You feel me? Yeah. I see you got a daughter. She's three. You feel me? Talk about that. How does that change you? How does that shit change you as a man? Yeah, man. Like I said, man. When when she came, when she came, bro, I I, I had to get low because I had to just read. I, I didn't want my introduction to her to be me as a, as the villain. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like I kind of wanted to be the good person. You right. know? So I was just decided, like, yo, let me just try to be the best human I could possibly mm. be. Because, you know, this is my baby right here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. She got to know, like, yo, yo, my, my dad. dad my dad was the greatest. <laughs> it, don't, it don't get no better. You right. equal or under. You know what I'm right. saying? So I just wanted to be the best human I could be, man. Like, she, she, she's just, she, she amazing, man. She teach me all the time, man. Like, she teach me a lot, bro. Right. Like, she just like her mom, man. You know? Right. And, like, they are great. I, I love them, man. And talk about your wife. You said when you when you seen her, you know she was the one. Like, 
Like, how do you know? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm out here lost, nigga. Tell me, how can I, how can I know this girl's the one? Oh, like, like you said, you know, like you know this, you know, you know this. I always, you know, you know, dress the way I was dressing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So you kind of like. I think sometimes, you know, when people move, you could it, it could be how she dress, how she move, mm -hmm. how she talk. But how I knew though was the Ox game, you feel me? Like we got the same we got the we had the same playlist, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. And only good people listen to this playlist, right. you feel me? But like even before that though, for real, like I I, I I had never said a word to her when I said this is my wife, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I already knew. Like she, she was just, she was just great. <laughs> I wasn't looking at a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, shout out to Jiggy the Rebel. He got some like, I'm not, I don't call yeah, her a bad bitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was looking at a woman, bro. Like, mm. I wish she would, she would come get on the camera right now so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like, mm. it's a lady. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It was a lady. It was my, my kind of lady. It was, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So. Yeah, I d you, you if you don't like you, you can you, you can't tell the difference. Like, nah, see I, I, I'm just joking, bro. I'm not, I'm not, not I'm not all the way in that mode where you have to settle down. I'm gonna yeah. I just Yo, <laughs> bro, I will say though, man, a lot of people don't have access to it mm. because, like, like, you know, like if you're not moving right, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta fix yourself and you you have access. Now, to but that. I, I feel like right now for me, it's like my energy is not really focused on like. Girls demand a lot of attention, so like with that, you don't have to give her like I'm really focused on trying to get my career. So if I can't give her my full attention, like I'm I'm looking, I'm worried about best friend TV more than I'm worried about a female. Man, I feel so, like, so I'm not all the way ready to settle down. You know, you know, six what six seven years in, you know, me and my girl, we, we ain't never have an argument. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like we, we don't argue. We don't like I don't know if she even know what my voice sound like if I raise my voice. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, it's because we have understanding, but around right now though. Like, you know, we've been kind of like having to have talks like, yo, you know, she felt, you know, I can't even say, I can't even be saying too much. Cause I forgot she did want me to, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want anybody in her business and stuff. Right. But, but what you said though about how, like not being able to give all your time okay. and stuff, yeah. like it's, it, sometimes it get to, it get to that point, you know, we, we've been growing together for years. Yeah, that's why I'm, yeah. Neither one of us is the same person we was when we, you know what I'm saying, first met. We've been growing closer, though. That's the that's the good part. We've been mm -hmm. growing together. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. want to be in, in a relationship and both of y'all just growing. But y'all got to kind of, like, grow together, man. Mm -hmm. And, uh... But like you, like you said, something I don't want to call it out. Like, yeah, yo, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. <laughs> communication, bro. That's everything, bro. Right. Yo, we got great communication, man. We got great, not always. It wasn't always this way. We yeah. Like I said, but you get to know a person, you see what they comfortable with, what mm -hmm. they you could adjust, how they adjust it. Like that's like it doesn't come over like one night. That crap is overnight. You get to know a person, like you feel me? and there's certain stuff like even like even like even with your siblings, there's certain stuff you know your siblings get mad about, yeah. and there's certain stuff you like how you approach them, or even your parents like yeah. certain stuff you gonna talk to that's your mom about, you gonna talk yeah. to your dad about, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's a fact, bro. Also, I found I found that this, this is a fun fact. You gave Jiggy Rebel his uh, rap name. Yeah. So yeah. what's your point of view? Cause he told me about what he said. What's your point of view? Yeah. That? I, I can't remember what he said. He, he said you just walked in one day and was like, Oh yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> it was a, yo I, yo people have names in my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like I give everybody like different names or like let me see somebody in my shit real quick. Yeah. Who are? Like my boy, look, my boy Bishop, you know what I'm saying? Just because this is the last person yeah. who hit me. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? His his name Big Baby Bishop, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? You know, and I just give everybody like different names, bro, because it just, you know, how however you move, however you look. <laughs> I just think of some, uh, you know, a creative name, and uh, he just looked like a Jiggy to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my boy Jiggy Smalls right here, man. Word. Yeah. Another thing he was doing, um, I feel like, I want to say 2019, he was taking kids to job interviews, bro, like, kids oh, yeah. that needed jobs, but talk about... Yeah, what the fuck, maybe, how you know about that? Bro, I be doing my you research. You want your normal, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Research, what makes really you want to do that? Because that's a positive impact, I feel like, a, we, I, like, I feel like that's the one thing that's lost or we lack nowadays, like, we're supposed to raise, like, you know, remember as kids, like, I already reckon our community raised us, so, like, the, your neighbor could take care of you, yell at you, 
And like nowadays, it's like it's not, it's not that same. Like people, you yell at somebody's kid, it's a fight. It's a big deal. Nah, yeah. it's like, not the same leadership no more. Yeah, man. I, I just felt like yo, we was getting stuck outside, bro. Like you know, a lot of people was like, a job is not hard to get, bro. Right. A job not hard to get at all. But you it's about you willing to do it though. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really about getting there, man. Mm-hmm. Like so, like you know. A lot of people don't want the job because they just never got there. I, I'm talking about the young people. You right. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, like, like when I was, you know, 16 or whatever, like, I had got a, you know, I was work, I work, I got a job at Price Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's like, I did not want to work. You know what I'm saying? My dad had to, like, my dad had to force me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, he walked me there. He did everything. He put my tie on. You know. We did everything, he, he, you know, got me there. And I'm just telling my boys, you know, my boys thinking I'm just, I got it, you know. They're like, yo, my boy Corey got the job, yo, that's crazy, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, and they talking about they trying to get a job, you know what I'm saying? But people saying they trying to get a job. They, they don't mean, act on it. Yeah, they mean, they mean they, they filled out an application, they ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you really just gotta show people you really want it, but everybody don't have a dad like I had. You right. know what I'm saying? So they don't know what to do. Right. So you know I'm chopping it up with the young boys. You know what I'm saying? Cause my crowd was so young, my fans were so young. You right. know what I'm saying? I didn't know that I was young though either. At the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause you like two years older than me. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like 15 when I was doing that. I was uh, yeah, I was like what? Seven, uh, I'm tripping because I forgot Onion Head was out. So I was 17 when that came yeah. when I was doing that. That. You know, I thought I was like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's it like just, a big brother role though. For yeah, real, for real. yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. And uh, yeah, but I just was like, yo, I, if if some, everybody had somebody to like really go through the whole process with them, like we all be going. And once people get it, like once they got it, like you don't gotta keep, you know, doing it again. Like once they got the job, yeah, yeah you just got door, like the, exactly. somebody like to, like you know. It's like babysitters, you, t- you you with your kid watching them babysitter, then they just uh-huh. you, they start walking. Exactly. <laughs> so I was just like, you yeah, know, that's definitely fire, bro. Yeah, that's definitely fire, working bro. with all the young homies, like, yo, bro, you need a job. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's fill out this application. Now I hit them up, like, yo, did you call them today? Right. You know, because people will fill out an application, be like, yo, they never hit me back, bro. You never so call them. Like, as much as you want them, as much as they need, you need them as much as they need you. I'm trying to tell you, bro. So you you give them a call nine times out of ten, you got that job because they like, yo, this is the only person to call us. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like, bro, it's like you got to be hungry about your opportunities. Like you said, like the. Like being around Jesus, you should have been spoke up. They heard exactly. about it, bro. Exactly. And you probably used that. That probably was the lesson right there. Like, okay, we come mm-hmm. back and teach this because you got to be hungry. You know, everything yeah. is a learning lesson, bro. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a fact, man. But yeah, we're coming towards the end of this um, interview. But I, I see you got merchandise and stuff like that. And yeah. how could it buy merchandise and hoodies and like bags and coffee cups? Or, yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? Yo, just Google Negus I Rap merch, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see the merch on deck. I, I got the I got the merch right here in the back. I'm getting ready to ship out some orders and shit. Uh, but nah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go, my link in the bio, y'all know what's up. If y'all watching this video, y'all know what's up, man. But, yeah, or just just Google Negus I Rap merch. You will see it all up there. I don't know your social media and stuff like that, bro. Uh, Negus I Rap, N-E-G-U-S underscore I Rap, I-R-A-P, you know what I'm saying? And what are your goals for the rest of the year? My goals for the rest of the year. And what you got planned? How are you going to finish out the fourth quarter? Let me see how I'm finishing out the first quarter. I got to check my schedule. <laughs> oh, you got to schedule. See, yeah, you. Yeah. So let me see what's on the schedule. Uh, house schedule. Where's the house schedule? See, look, you see where it say home schedule? Yeah. We got we got the next 12 months. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. See, August, September, October. We got it all planned out. November, December. So, yeah, uh, a lot of things have, you know, with this new growth, a lot of things have changed. But you weren't going to adjust, yeah. It's all yeah. about adjusting. Yeah, yeah, so we so we move some stuff around. That's so about having a plan though. That's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah, I got uh Oh, I got an EP called Escape the Box. I gotta have oh dang. It's, it's about to be the end of October. Oh, it's the end of October. Boy time be flying. Bro, this word is October third. Yeah, I got I got a, I got a uh 
finish this EP. I got a couple days to finish this little EP called Escape the Box. Funny okay. you said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. About, you know. Uh, Any features plan I have on it? Uh, yeah, I wanted it to be just me. But now I got some big opportunities. Okay, you know okay, okay. We're we going, we going. Just surprises, bro. Yeah. Oh, one question. How you working with E, though? I, like, on your last uh, project? Oh, with, with E? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. E, that's my guy, man. Uh, um, It was a little event going on. And I end up grabbing the microphone. I, I, I don't think, I, I don't know if I was supposed to or what. But, you know, I saw nobody was grabbing the microphone. This is actually his event. Right. And I just took over, you know. What I'm Take advantage of the opportunity. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> Mike right there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? What we doing? Grab a mic. I, I say I probably was, I probably was, uh, I was rapping for probably like four hours, bro. Four hours straight. Four hours straight. Nobody moved me. He he want to hear more and more, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yo, who is this, bro? This is crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was with my boy Q. Oh, shout out my boy Kata, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, my boy Kata about to be in the building November 11th, too. It's going it's gonna to get serious, man. Um, but nah, yeah, man. Uh, I, I met E, bro. We just we click right away, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the guy, bro. Uh, we was in the studio, I think, the next day. You know what I mean? And uh, we, we, we working, bro. I... I I, I wish I could have spoke to him before this and see how we got some big stuff coming up, bro. Yeah, they gonna Yo, surprise them. We, we, we got a e, we got a, I got an EP, you know what I'm saying? Fully produced by E. That's light though. That's light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got we got something bigger. You feel right. me? Like uh, we got we got a, we got us a, a you know a big feature. You gonna hear with me at me and E. You know what I'm saying? I like, yeah, I like that. I like you that, know, yeah. you know, speaking of Wu Tang, you feel me? <laughs> well, speaking of Wu Tang, you feel me? We got, we got, we got, a, we got a. Yeah, this it's gonna be pretty big. I think it's gonna be surprising. Like, yo, where did this come from? You right. know what I'm saying? And I think it's perfect timing too, cause stuff like that, like gonna gonna help. It's on his album though. Right. This, this is on his album. Right, as long as your name being seen and heard, that's all that yeah. matters, bro. Yeah, I feel like even this, even though it's on his album, it's gonna promote my next album. Yeah. You know what I'm right, saying? Bro, people become fans of people. That's why it's called feature. I might bump Jake. Bro, you like think about Drake Price, right? There's a lot of people that's on Drake Price that you probably never heard about. Word. But people can go check them out now. Like Tizo Touchdown, I never heard of him, but I wanna go look him up oh, on Google. Word. Yeah, yeah, Tizo Tizo's that guy. Mm -hmm. I, love Tizo. I never heard of him, but I looked him up on Google the next day, so it's all about being heard and seen and you take a full advantage of your opportunity, bro. Yeah. And that's the one thing I think I learned, but if I if I didn't learn anything, take a full advantage of your opportunity. Mm -hmm. You fall yeah. down, get back up, everything's happening for a reason. You just don't know it you just don't know it yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. Well, I, I just got my first, you know, like I, today, you mm. know, I got my first, you know, placement. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I got, to, I got two verses on, on, I, you know, I got, I got a song on the album. I got a song on somebody's album that I call it major because that means I know for sure it's gonna get a million streams. You know right. what I'm saying? So a million people about to hear yes, yeah. me for the first time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is my first time like having a like a spot like that. And they, uh, well, I got two. You know what I'm saying? I got a verse on a, another song too. That's that's that people so, gonna, it's I'm, gonna I'm, wild I'm, people. I'm, I'm excited to see what you got going on. Yeah, bro. yeah, I'm excited, bro. <laughs> I can't wait till tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Right. Every day I can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, see, that's yeah. all about yeah. Everything that you went through, the, you you're happy now. That's yeah. all that you're saying, bro. Or I got a lot of people living through me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of people. Like you, you know. We got parents and uncles and stuff already yeah. that we sometimes it seems like, you know, they just living to wait to pass. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they don't really be having a lot to look but you forward to. Again, yeah. yeah, and I'm kinda I can see that I've been that light. Like, hey, what's going on? My man? nephew, my uncle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh man, I'm just I'm excited, bro. No, I'm excited. I, I really am, bro. I've been going I've been working hard, working real hard lately, man. Word. Yeah. We come towards the end of the evening, man. Shout out Best Point of View TV for the interview, bro. Yo, shout out Best Point of View TV. Y'all don't even know that man, goddamn, was the executive producer for the for the My Name Is Gus album. They don't, they don't, don't even know that. They don't, they don't, they don't, don't even know. They don't know that. We want to nigga put up in Atlanta. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, give my opportunity. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs>
<laughs> Facts, man. I forget. I forgot how to pick the songs up, bro. That's uh-huh. crazy, bro. You, that was your track order, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. we came to Atlanta. We, uh-huh. we was in your living room, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. I played the Joey joint for you. Yeah. That's all right. Word, word. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. yo. Peace, peace. Check it. Check it. Trials and tribulations. I'm just trying to live my life, hoping to make the right decisions. Cause I wanna live it right. I remember nights, no sleep, feeling weaker than seven days.